Now today, I've been to see my mate Roy. Here we are, look, but wait. First, second kick, first time it started in 25 years, and off he's gone. And he's got two list of D's. I had a look the other day, but couldn't find them anyway. I think you can see, we've got, I've got the engine numbers off them. And it was interested. And now, I've um, managed to date mine on the forum. Uh, there's a document for dating them, right? And so, looking at that, make it big enough for me to see and we've got an engine number of 193186 so we look round here and we want 193 186 and that's 193480 that one so move it across to see and it was done in March 1945 so that's one of his engines and the other one is one slash right if you remember 55 one or seven or five so we look down the years here from 48 to 51 my engine by the way was made in uh, January to June 1951 right well his engine is 15515 and it comes there look so it's July to December 1950 So anyway, I hope you found that a little bit interesting. And uh, this is how you can date your engines, you see. They're on the, um, if you go on the Facebook group, you can download this. So if you need to know how to date your list of D, that's how you do it. Well, yesterday I had a quick play with this. Just very simply put the alternator and just see if the brig did run and start with it. Well, it will, but it's going the opposite way around. And so um, I've had to put the belt on crossed, obviously, to start with. Because I thought this is the easiest way. So all I've done is just to mount it. I took it off the stand. Just to mount it, I've just... Uh, Put one of those big coat screws in there and a clamp on the other end. Then I can turn it, you see. Well, the problem is I've started it up and warmed it up today. Then I went to do it yesterday and the drill battery was flat and it was getting too late to do it. So I wasn't going to do anything today. I'd just come out to have a little play. Anyway, I got it on, right? I've got to turn, put the torch down now so it'll be a bit dark. But anyway... I got it on, I got the belt on, and uh, so it's not too tight, and it actually started up, and I don't know if it will do now, but you'll see what happens in a minute, I don't know if it'll start it again now, it did do a minute ago, we'll just see. charging <laughs> as you can see it's charging but it's still the engine so <laughs> I suppose that's a <laughs> probably a bit of success I don't know anyway I wasn't going to 
I'm not doing much today, I've just come out to fetch me stuff in really because it's too blooming cold and horrible and we've got something to do inside well the reason for doing it was I, I was going I thought I'd better just clean this up you know what the brig sits on and while I was at it um, you might remember I wrote mystery engine on it but you can't see it very well it's got grubby and one thing or another hasn't it and so, while we're titivating it up a bit more, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can etch some, do some etching. And I found this bit of aluminium plate, and that'll be ideal on there, won't it? And I've got two chances, and if it doesn't work, I'll turn it over and do a, you know, fairly neat job on there. So I, that's about the size I want it, I think. You know, so I'm going to see, this is covered, you see, it's already got stuff stuck on. So I'm going to see if I can cut the letters out like I did on my, uh, you know, on the etching that I did, if you remember. I tried that, didn't I? So, because it doesn't want to be, you know, it... It wants to look, it doesn't want to look, does it? It wants to look hand done. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Anyway, so I thought I'd just show you that. And that's why I thought I'd just see if a three horsepower Briggs will generate, will turn the alternator, you know, as well as the one and a half horse Lister. Now today, I've been seeing my mate Roy. And he's got two Lister Ds. I had a look the other day, but couldn't find them anyway. I think you can see we've got I've got the engine numbers of them, and it was interested. And now I've um, managed to date mine on the forum. Uh, there's a document for dating them, right? And so, looking at that, make it big enough for me to see and we've got an engine number of 193186 so we look round here and we want 193 one eight six and that's one nine three four eighty that one so move it across to see and it was done in March nineteen forty five so that's one of his engines and the other one is one slash right if you remember fifty five one or seven or five so we look down the years here from 48 to 51 my engine by the way was made in uh, January to June 1951 right well his engine is 15515 and it comes there look so it's July to December 1950 So anyway, I hope you found that a little bit interesting. And uh, this is how you can date your engines, you see. They're on the, um, if you go on the Facebook group, and you can download this. So if you need to know how to date your list of D, that's how you do it.